unlike the enemy. We seek to minimize, not maximize, the loss of innocent life. I'm proud Taliban have brought because there is no other peace. We did not ask for this mission, the future of fear. We must speak the truth about terror. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories and deliver our children from a future of fear. Some are called Jade Helm 15. While the military says it's just training soldiers for the realities of war, critics say the Army is preparing for modern-day martial law. And then now we have chilling footage of armed Army forces, National Guard, blocking roads in California and marching around, basically commanding the public. Uh, obviously, come from, coming from a veteran, whenever we train... Uh, we train for climate specific. We train for terrain specific. So, I mean, if they were going to train for a uh, middle sea, uh, Middle Eastern engagement, they'd be training in the desert. we have a chaotic situation we have a vacuum and i think one of the reasons why isis has been emboldened is because we've been arming their allies we have been allied with uh, isis obviously come from, coming from a veteran whenever we train uh we train for climate specific we train for terrain specific so i mean if they were going to train for a uh, middle sea uh Middle Eastern engagement, they'd be training in the desert. Who lost their jobs when a branded Walmart unexpectedly closed this week. Had a chance to learn more about their futures today. I-team investigator Adam Walzer. Uh, obviously, come from, coming from a veteran, whenever we train, uh, we train for climate specific. We train for terrain specific. So, I mean, if they were going to train for a uh, middle, sea, uh, middle Eastern engagement, they'd be training in the desert. We have a chaotic situation. We have a vacuum. And I think one of the reasons why ISIS has been emboldened is because we've been arming their allies. We have been allied with ISIS. Well, Jameson, still a lot of mysteries tonight surrounding those closures, but we are getting new information that there may be more to the story than plumbing now, problems. People asked me why Walmarts are closing. And the answer is simple. When I took an Army logistics class, we developed, the U.S. Army developed the logistics system for Walmart. Walmarts were strategically set up around the world to act as military distribution bases. Hard employee, forget it. Find another job and do it quickly. Because as Jade Helm spreads, the jobs will go away very quickly. And if you're at Walmart, don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's. Don't go to a box store. You get hired there, you might get absorbed and then laid off. We're here. Give the call now we have me. a chaotic situation, we have a vacuum. And I think one of the reasons why ISIS has been emboldened is because we've been arming their allies. We have been allied with ISIS in Syria. I saw this clip a few months ago online and I was troubled by a few things. First of all, the man pulled over for speeding in the clip acts suspicious from the onset. He immediately steps out of the car. This implies he does not want the police officer anywhere near the vehicle. We see people moving around in the vehicle. So what is going on in this vehicle? The man then rushes the police officer in a way that a trained military soldier would not. Having been in the military I know this man has very poor training. The way he pulled over is not a way someone with military training who did not want a police officer to see what or who he had in the vehicle with him would pull over. A trained military soldier could have ambushed this officer easily without the Wild West style shootout. Not to mention this clip is all I have found on this shooting, 
which is suspicious as well. Could this officer have unintentionally pulled over someone he was not supposed to? Was this an ISIS soldier in a US military disguise? It would appear that way. Why would they do this? Well we have heard about the US Army and Special Forces running training exercises around that time with Ukrainian, Russia, and whoever else this administration feels fit to bring to America. It is hard to say what is going on until it happens. Stay aware of your surroundings and stay vigilant, have no fear. I don't believe that ISIS is right now in the middle of a battle saying, hmm, I think we're going to send intercontinental ballistic missiles to America. So could they be a threat? Yes. But what I would say Shouldn't is... Shouldn't we stop them now? Well, we should have not armed them. Marshall. Noticed prior to seeing the semi four black helicopters right off I 75, southbound off ramp. We saw them approximately 20 minutes before the semi. The semi was hauling unmarked ambulances and the semi had a federal tag, place. You would know, just as we would know when we see something out of place. Stay vigilant, do not give in to fear. Good luck and God bless to all.